In this video, I'm going to be updating the Kingdom theme, and I'm also going to be updating the WooZone plugin, or WZone as it's also known. Now, if you know what those two things are that I just mentioned, then this video is probably for you. You're probably running an Amazon affiliate website after following one of my previous tutorials. If you don't know what those things are, then this video is probably not going to be for you. And yeah, go check out some other videos. There's loads on the channel. In fact, you might want to check out the tutorial on how to create your very own Amazon affiliate website. I'll put a link to that in a card up there somewhere. But for those of you that are running Kingdom and WooZone, let's go. So I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm over at bowwowtech.co.uk, which is one of my many Amazon affiliate websites. And well, let's do some updates. I can see there's actually 18 updates um, available for this site. So I'm gonna check in here first. It's a good idea to make sure all this stuff's up to date before we start updating themes. So here we go, let's take a look at these WordPress updates. I've got the latest version of WordPress. I've got quite a few plugins that need updating. And in fact, WooZone is included in here. So let's try and update it this way and see if that works um, all okay. Kingdom is not showing, um, as something that needs to be updated, but I got an email earlier today from um, Theme Forest saying there is a update available, so we're gonna have to do that one manually. But let's start by doing these plugins. Now, before you do any of this stuff, you should have a backup um, of your site, because sometimes things go wrong and you might wanna roll back. If you're not sure how to do a backup, then I'll put a link up now to a video that will show you how to do uh, a backup of your WordPress website. So uh, go and do that right now if you've not got a backup. If you have, let's carry on. So I've got all these ticked. I'm gonna click Update Plugins, and fingers crossed it'll all be okay. Okay, so it took a few moments, but it's all done now. And if we scroll down, we can see that most things have updated successfully, including WooZone, so that's a good sign. It says it hasn't been able to update the WP Bakery page builder, but I'm not too worried about that. We can update that once we update the Kingdom theme because it comes packaged with that theme. So everything looks good. Let's uh, just go into WooZone and see what we got. The main thing I wanna check is that it's still got my settings, because that is the one problem you sometimes get when you do updates. You lose your settings. So let me just check the Amazon config. So let's take a look. Uh, it looks good, Amazon Location UK, that is what I set. And there's my keys, they're still there. So I'm guessing all the settings are all fine. So that's WooZone updated, that was easy as pie, wasn't it? So let's go on and update the Kingdom theme, which is a little bit more tricky, it's not an automatic update. We're gonna have to do a bit of downloading and uploading, but it, it should still be fairly straightforward. I've got the Kingdom sales page open in this tab, this is over on Theme Forest. So I'm just gonna download the latest version. Here we go, so that was fine, let's save it in there. So I've downloaded a zip file, what we need to do is extract it. So let's just pop it up. There it is, I'm just gonna double click on it. Latest version is 3.6.3. And then within this folder, there is another folder called theme. And then within there, there's another couple of folders, one called theme unzipped and one called theme zipped. And that's the one we're gonna be uh, using, the one that's within theme zipped. So let's go back to the website. Here we go, and then I'm gonna go into Appearance, up here, and then Themes. Now I'm running the child theme, which I hope you guys are. Shouldn't be too much of a problem if you're not. This should still work um, just fine. But in general, it's a good practice to run the child theme. So what you do to run a child theme is you install the main theme, which is called Kingdom, you install the Kingdom Child theme, and then you just activate the Kingdom Child theme. But I say, don't worry if you haven't. So what we need to do is deactivate the Kingdom theme, because we can't really work on it while it's active. So I'm just gonna switch to uh, this standard WordPress theme here, 2015. Just gonna click Activate. Now you may wanna install a maintenance um, plugin or something while you're doing this, just so that people don't see some weird stuff on your website. I'm not too worried about that, because I'm gonna be really quick. Um, but if you do wanna add a kind of site down for maintenance type page, I'll put a link up now to a video which will show you how to do that. Anyway, we've now got 2015 active. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna 
go into here, which is Kingdom. And this is the same as say, if you're running a child theme or not. You go into the main theme, which is called Kingdom, and you come down here and you click Delete. Press OK. And then I'm gonna go to Add New. And then Upload Theme, then Choose File. Then gonna go into that folder that we just had a look at, the one that came out of the zip file, the 3.6.3. In there, then into Theme, and then into Theme Zipped. And then Kingdom.zip, that's what we want. Click Open, click Install Now. Then that's all done. I'm not gonna activate it because I'm gonna go back to the themes page and activate the child theme. If you're not running a child theme, then yeah, you can just click activate. So we're back on the themes page. I'm gonna go back to the child theme and click activate. So it's now time for the moment of truth. Has it broken our site? Let's take a look. I'm gonna go visit site. It's looking okay. All settings and everything seem to be intact. Logo is showing, looking as it was. If your site doesn't look quite right, then it may be down to a caching issue. Make sure you clear your cache if you're running uh, WP Fastest Cache or something similar um, to improve the speed of your site. But yeah, this all looks good. So one last thing to check is the plugins um, that come with the theme. One of them uh, in particular said it needed an update, which was the WP Bakery page builder thing. So to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down into the installed plugins and I'm actually gonna remove um, WP Bakery page builder thing down here somewhere. There it is, just gonna turn that off. Now, version 5.6 may not be packaged up with Kingdom. Of course, there is that. <laughs> but I'm just showing you how to do this just in case they do update uh, Visual Composer. So let's scroll down again, I've deactivated it, let's delete it. The reason I say that is sometimes when you buy the plugin, it's at a later version than the one that comes bundled with themes. I don't know why that is, but hey. So I've removed it. We've now got this message at the top that says uh, the following recommended plugin is currently inactive, but actually it's gone. <laughs> so let's go to begin installing plugin. There it is, let's click install. So this is actually gonna install it from the um, the theme package. Uh, but it hasn't worked, and I know why it hasn't worked, and that is because we're running the child theme. So <laughs> you get an error message. Go back into themes. Oh, I love it when the plan comes together. Activate the uh, parent theme, as it's called, it's just called Kingdom. <laughs> and then let's try again by clicking here to begin installing the plugins. Click install. I don't generally use this premium SEO pack thing that comes with a the theme. I much prefer Yoast SEO. Okay, so that's uh, installed successfully. Let's just double check uh, which version it's installed. I bet it's gonna be the same version after all that, isn't it? Was it 5.4 something? I'm sure in the future they will update um, the Visual Composer if they haven't done so already. Oh no, we're okay, it is 5.6, that's all good. So we're up to the latest version. Let's click activate and we're all done. There me, there's me being all cynical thinking that they wouldn't have updated the plugin. Of course they have. So we're all done, we're all up to date. There's a few other messages that have popped up here regarding WooCommerce data, so probably should do that. Let's click uh, run the update. Seems to be fine, it's doing its thing. So one last thing to do, we just need to switch back to um, our child theme. If you happen to be running a child theme, if you don't, then you're probably all done at this point. So back into appearance and themes, and then I'm just gonna activate the child theme. And there we go. Let's visit the site and just double check that we haven't completely broken everything. I'm sure we haven't. There we go, it's looking good, it's looking, well, the same as it was before, which is always a good thing after <laughs> you run some updates. And there we go, we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video, hopefully you're all up to date, and everything is working as it should. If for whatever reason it's not, then leave a comment below and I'll do my best to reply to you and try and help you out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the eagle, which will appear up there somewhere. 
I tend to upload videos every single week, so make sure that you click the bell to be notified when that happens. I've also got another vlog channel, it's up there somewhere. Go check that out, it's all around business and life and that kind of stuff. And here, a couple more videos that I think you're gonna enjoy. They've been chosen specially for you. Until next time, bye for now.